Up next on 9 News at 10 o'clock, we caught the cavalry arriving. Oh, this cavalry is for cell phone users in the hurricane zone. One of the many things needed for the cleanup and recovery of the hurricane-shattered Gulf Coast is the ability to communicate. When Katrina blew through, however, much of that communication infrastructure was destroyed. Your, your cell phone tells you that. As WAP's Matt Williams shows us, some help is on the way. All right, Bruce, bring it up. This tower, being raised just south of Gonzales by Information Systems Incorporated out of Orlando, has the power to connect the devastated parts of the coast to those who are trying to help it. Another 10 degrees will be all right. 130 feet high, this cell tower is the first link from Baton Rouge headed into the disaster area. This particular effort is to bring in a DS3 of internet provided by MCI uh, all the way into New Orleans and then start heading east towards uh, Biloxi, Mississippi via Slidell, Waveland, Gulfport, and then Biloxi. Essentially, this tower will provide the equivalent of 28 T1 lines of space. Cell service, internet access, things relief workers have had sporadic use of at best will now be more available. The New Orleans Police Department will actually be one of the direct beneficiaries. Everybody knows police units have radios on hand and in their vehicles, and then you also have the base unit, the tower. That tower doesn't exist. Their, their police department is wiped out. Donald Brew, who works for ProInspect, the company that owns the property this tower is sitting on, says donating the use of the property was a no-brainer. He came in and explained the situation to me and asked if he could use the property. You know, I mean, it was a done deal. How we doing, Rod? The actual raising of the tower takes about 20 minutes. This is the toughest part right now. A winch capable of lifting 18,000 pounds helps get the tower vertical. On top, one dish pointed towards Baton Rouge, the other towards the next tower, 20 miles down I-10. As the guide wires are tied off, the job here is done. Time to move on to the next one. Bringing communication to those who need it, one 20-mile stretch at a time. With photojournalist Darren DeQuano, Matt Williams, WAFB 9 News. It's such a pretty picture. <laughs> <laughs> well